Hello. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to make some more Gundam content lately, and I figured I would make another video talking about my absolutely stupid Gunpla backlog, because I made a video of my backlog around 15 months ago, and it has only gotten worse. I have been getting more kits than I have time to build them. And it is very unfortunate that actually several of these that were in last year's, well, I say last year's, it was like December 2022. And the one I did 15 months ago, there are several that are still in the stack. So there's plenty of new ones. There's absolutely plenty of new ones. But there's still plenty of kits that have gone entirely unbuilt for over a year still. So I have it all laid out here, kind of in an order. So obviously I have really big boys up top. I've got really big boys up top. That is all non-Universal Century high grades. That is all Universal Century high grades. Those are all P-Bandai's. And besides for the Master Grade GM Sniper, all of that is either like old uh, Gundams or uh, non-Gundams. So I'm going to do this in a similar way where I'm just going to like go through each one, kind of talk about it a little bit. And uh, hopefully, hopefully I can get through these this year. This is a New Year's resolution for me. I say that in March, but I want to get through as many of these as I can. I even if I build one a week, I still will not build them all this year. I understand that. But I would like to try to build one Gundam kit a week. That is my goal. I can I can work I can get one done in a week, but I need to take the time to do it. Like while I'm sitting there watching YouTube, I need to be working on a model kit. Because sometimes I come home from work or I'm just too exhausted and I get lazy and I don't feel like building a Gundam. So let's go ahead and talk about the ones on the top first. Because we'll need to take them off to uh you know go through the stacks. So I got to the real grade Xiong. Uh I actually got it really cheap. Uh Hobby Lobby had it. For only $47.99. And on top of that, they had 40% off their model kits. So I got the Xiong super cheap. I don't have like all the effect parts and everything. That's okay. Uh, but I was holding out for a real grade perfect Xiong, but that never happened. Uh, but thankfully, I do have a perfect Xiong now. Uh, I think it was Big Bad Toy Store had the perfect Xiong on sale on, uh, geez, like a year or so ago. Awesome figure. Uh, so yeah, I just have the real great Xiong to build at some point. This is a P Bandai. This is the uh, new Gundam based off of the live-sized statue <laughs> that is in Japan uh, at the Gundam Park. I would absolutely love to go to Side F someday and see this in person. Unfortunately, I'll have to miss out on seeing the life-sized walking Gundam. That's something I always wanted to see. Uh, but, hey, maybe they'll bring it back after a while. I don't know. I just know that going to Japan is not in the cards for my life at this moment. So, thankfully, P-Band, I made this available and I was able to get it. And uh, it's very, very cool. One thing I do want to show, it's actually behind the stack. And I don't really have the space for it on a shelf yet. Uh, a friend of mine actually uh, went to Japan and got me the uh, high grade of the actual like life-size moving Gundams. So that's really cool. Uh, it just takes up a lot of space with the whole base and everything. Another P-Bandai, Resin Schneider's Ghiradoga. If you know me, the Ghiradoga is one of, or depending on the day, my absolute favorite mobile suit. So I had to get Resin Schneider's Ghiradoga in Master Grade. When that went up on the P-Bandai website, I was like, yeah, I can't miss out on that. I need it. Because I do have, obviously, the normal green Master Grade. I'll probably get full frontals if P-Bandai makes that available again. But still, I I love the blue Ghiradoga. It's just so cool. It's so cool to me. And then over here on the top, this is the only other Master Grade in the stack. I'm not big on Master Grades. I only get Master Grades of some of my absolute favorite mobile suits. So, uh, you know, Ghiradoga is obviously my number one. But one of my favorite gems is the Gem Sniper 2. And uh, obviously, I've heard nothing but great things about this kit. I'm kind of late to the party, I know. But it's still very hype. Uh, that's definitely one that I want to build sooner rather than later. All right. Let's go through these stacks. Let's go through them. Let's take the Xiong off. Let's actually start a separate stack of the bigger boys so we can get through these other stacks. Uh, how I'm going to do it, I'm going to like show one off and then start a new pile like right in front. So this is one of my only real grades in the stack right now. The uh, Double O Riser. 
Uh, I did finish Gundam 00, and it's a really nice show. I really enjoyed it. Definitely enjoyed it more than Wing, that's for sure. And I just feel like the the real grade of the 00 Riser does more than the, the high grade. And for my collection, I wanted the real grade 00 Riser. So... I'll get around to building this at some point. I finished watching the show like over a year ago at this point. So definitely been putting that one off, but this was not, this was one that was not a part of the stack. Uh, last time I did a video uh, about 15 months ago, unfortunately this one was, I still have not built the standard Delanza. Uh, I, I don't know. It's just because I built the, um, the red one. I'm blanking on the, the name, the name, the name of the guy. I'm blanking on his name, but I built the red uh, Delanza, so it's kind of like, you know, I'll build this one whenever I get the chance. I haven't gotten the Delanza Soul yet. I've kind of held off on a lot of the uh, Witch for Mercury kits, because obviously I still have plenty that I haven't even built. So there's some that I will get that I just haven't gotten around to getting yet. Like, I don't have the Calabarn, I don't have the uh, Aerial Rebuild, because it'll take me ages to get around to them. <laughs> so that is the Delanza. Next up, I have the Hindry. Uh, the Hindry, I love like the minty green color of the Hindry. And it's just a really cool looking suit. I think it'll look really cool next to the... Oh my god, I'm, I'm just blanking on all of the names. The Mercurius. Or not the Mercurius, that's that's from Wing. The Michaelis, or the Michaelis. I like saying Michaelis better, it just sounds better. I don't remember how it actually is. <laughs> They're all fake robots at the end of the day. Who cares how you say it? Uh, but yeah, the Hindry is a very cool looking one. Uh, that's one I got at the hobby store uh, when I rent, went there more recently. Another one that I got at the hobby store uh, was the Gundvolva. I just think the Gundvolva looks super sweet. And it's kind of cool that it's almost like an army builder Gundam. You know, I loved how the Gundvolva was used in the show as almost like a drone unit. And you could army build this kit if you want to. Me personally, I don't army build Gunpla. I'm kind of a one and done, which is funny uh, considering some of the high grades we'll be looking at. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I am very excited to get around the Gun Volva. I love the look of the Witch from Mercury Gundam heads. I just love the look of the faces. This is one I just got <laughs> in my Big Bad Toy Store pile of loot unboxing. This is the Zawart Heavy. I don't have the normal Zawart. Uh, I just have the Heavy. Hopefully I can get around to this one sooner rather than later. Just looks really cool. Uh, very excited for that. This is my latest addition to the stack. I don't even know how to pronounce this. The Segu Type Deep Arms. Uh, I have not even watched Gundam Seed yet, but this is from the MSV series, so this is not in the show. I just love the look of this one. I love the two-tone blues. I love the big cannons. I love the almost feathery look to the head. Uh, I love the, the Zaku mono eye and everything. I just I loved the look of it. It spoke to me, so I went ahead and picked that one up. Uh, continuing on the non-universal century, I had to get the Turn A Gundam. I mean, it's the Turn A Gundam. It's iconic. I have not watched a Turn A yet. I think it'll probably be next up on the Gundam shows I watch, because I hear it's really good. Uh, I do love how, like, a Zaku... It's not called a Zaku. I don't remember what it's called, but there's just a Zaku in Turn A Gundam. Then I forget the name of that. The Kapool? Is that, is that what it's called? I don't remember. So many names. <laughs> so many names. But the turn A is really cool. Can't wait to... Uh, I say I can't wait to build that one, but obviously I've had to wait quite some time already. Uh, the Strike Freedom. Uh, love the look of the gold. Again, I have not watched Seed or Seed Destiny quite yet, but I love the look of the Strike Freedom. I have built the Freedom Gundam. And uh, I don't know, I feel like since I built the Freedom more recently, I kind of want to hold off on building the Strike Freedom because it seems very similar, but it's still very cool. I love the gold. This one is big hype. This will probably get built definitely sooner rather than later. The Infinite Justice. I love the look of the Justice Gundam for sure. Then there's that new version of the Justice Gundam that just came out. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. It's for like that new Seed movie. Uh, that's one that's definitely on my radar. I just love the look of the Justice. I'll probably end up getting the Master Grade of the Justice too at some point. Uh, we've got a couple more kits peeking down. I waited to get this one until I got Death Scythe Hell. Because I just feel like having Live Lance Heaven and Death Scythe Hell is a really cool combo. Uh, yeah, Live Lance Heaven. You, 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 you see what's up. <laughs> it's, it's Death Scythe Hell, but more heavenly. And I just enjoy that. And last and... Not least, I guess. <laughs> Look at this poor guy all the way at the bottom. Uh, this is unfortunately one that was there 15 months ago and is still here now. The Gundam Ground Urban Combat Type. 
it's really cool. It's the Gundam ground type and it's in like the, you know, the urban colors kind of goes good with the uh, Gundam, the origin darker Gundams. That's why I got it. I figured it look, look kind of cool. It's like a, a little bit of a strike squad of some cool, like dark colored Gundams. I haven't gotten around to building it, unfortunately. So let me scoot that stack back since we have gone over the non-universal century now. Now let's go over the universal century. This one's very hype. Uh, the Anxia. I think the Anxia is a really cool mobile suit. Uh, I really want to expand my unicorn collection, and you'll actually see a lot of unicorn stuff in this stack. Uh, I just think the Anxia is really cool. It's, it's you know, kind of like a Jagan mixed with uh, the, oh, geez, what's it called? He's up there. He's up there. That guy. That guy. You know that guy. I'm blanking on the name. <laughs> he's, he's mixed with that. I think it's really cool. So yeah, cool transformable mobile suit. Next up, Blue Destiny Unit 1. Uh, I felt kind of odd that I had the Afrit. I had the Afrit Custom over there. I don't know why I'm trying to digitally zoom in. I can just use my phone. Yeah, I have the Afrit Custom. I'm like, why do I have that but not the Blue Destiny Unit 1? That just felt so odd to me. So went ahead and got that so I can actually do the battle, do the fight. I think the Blue Destiny Unit 1 looks really cool anyway. I always thought it was a GM until I'm like, oh, it's just a Gundam with a GM head because the GM head already had the exam system loaded in and they were like, ah, we'll just transfer it over. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, it's a retool of... I believe the ground gym mold. So it's a really good mold. And you do get optional visor and head parts too. I'll probably use the red. I think the red looks cool with the exam system on. This is one that was in the stack last year. This is the high gog. This is just one that I felt like I needed for my collection to kind of fill out and finish the war in the pocket line. But it is not a favorite of mine. That's probably why I've put it off. And it's a really early high grade too. HG 37. So yeah, it's... It's an, it's an early one, so it's going to have a lot of color missing, and I'll get around to it. It'll I don't want it to stay here another 15 months, but we'll see. I'd like to get this one built at least this year. This year, it will not be... I, this is going to be like an annual thing going over my backlog. Hopefully next year it won't be nearly as bad. Another one that was here last year, uh, a duplicate Giridoga. I do obviously already have... It's kind of hiding behind the Sazabis. I do obviously have the Giridoga already, uh, but I wanted a second one so I could have the command fin with it because that's one of the only exceptions I make for duplicates. If it is one of my absolute favorite mobile suits and if I have a head swap option, that's one of the only ways I will ever get a duplicate Gunpla. Uh, I, I won't just get the same thing twice. It at least needs something different. If it's different colors, though, I'll go crazy. I'll get as many as I want. Uh, so that's a Giridoga. Uh, Victory 2 Gundam. I have not seen Gundam Victory yet, but I just love the design of the Victory 2. It's one of the smaller Gundams, because in later Universal Century, they get a lot smaller. So he's on the smaller side, but I still think it's really cool looking. That's one I got at the hobby store when I visited. and I probably should stop visiting because I just get kits that I don't have time to build, but eh, it, I like picking up some unique ones. Like I wouldn't have, I probably would have never gotten that if I didn't go in the hobby store and see the box, you know? The Stark Jagan. This is a very cool one. I want to expand my Jagan collection. I think the Stark Jagan is really cool. I want to get the Echo Loss Jagan, but I think that one's P Bandai, if I'm not mistaken. But obviously, I'm no stranger to P Bandai, so as long as P Bandai reissues it, I'll have a chance to get it. Uh, yeah, the Stark Jagan is really cool. It's just a heavily armored Jagan. Again, I want to expand my Unicorn collection, so I think it's a really good one to get. The Hyzak. I think the uh, Federation colors for the Hyzak are really cool. I love the purple. There's honestly not a lot of purple mobile suits. Besides, like, the Dom, there really isn't. So I thought it was really cool that there was just a straight-up purple Hyzak. You know, I do have the normal green one, and I think it's all right. It's an older HG, but it checks out. It does, it does do that thing where it has, like, a whole seam line down the entire head because it's an older Zaku-style head. So kind of dicey there, but still, still a fun kit. Still really like it. I do have another Giridoga. And you may be thinking, why do you have three Giridoga kits now? Because whenever I get the confidence and strength, I want to custom paint this into an OC Giridoga. I want to have my own like original creation, my own design, my own color scheme. I want to actually make a proper 
fully customized gunpla. I want to take scrap pieces and add it. I want to do battle damaging. I want to make a Gira Doga that is mine. So whenever I get the strength and courage to do that, I have a Gira Doga on hand. I also want to do it to a Gira Zulu, and I want to do it to an HG Origin Zaku. Because I kind of want to have like an ace pilot Zeon character that throughout the years, like he pilots a Zaku, and then he pilots a Gira Doga, and then he pilots a Gira Zulu. I might give him another suit, like a uh, Zeta Gundam era suit, but I'm not really sure what I would do. Like what, what other like Zeta Gundam era suit could I give him? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe a Zaku Mariner? I don't know. I like that one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But definitely those three. I don't have a duplicate Girazulu or um, Origin Zaku quite yet. Because I want to do this first. I want to I want to test the, the theory. I want to actually make a custom. I don't have an airbrush yet. I think that's one of the first steps. I need to just suck it up and order an airbrush. And then I'll get the confidence to do it. Reaching down, we have yet another one that was there 15 months ago. The Echo Lost Jagan. It's a cool one. It's a cool one. I like the Echo Wasp Jagan. It's just a matter of the time and getting other kits that I just wanted to build over this one. And also, this isn't the uh, like the Ace Echo Wasp Jagan, the one with like the the pistol and the little sensor on the visor. That one's P Bandai. Hopefully, at some point, P Bandai reissues that so I have a chance to get it. Because from what you'll be able to see from my Gunpla stack, they reissue some P Bandais from time to time. And I get the chance to get them through the P Bandai website. So that's that's nice, but not very common. Another unicorn kit to expand my unicorn collection. Somehow didn't have the Delta Plus yet. Uh, the Delta Plus is cool because it's like the Yakushiki, but gray instead of gold. And I think the colors are neat, but I don't know. I feel like the, the gray, blue, and white is kind of bland. It's kind of a drab color scheme. It's not one that I really go to too crazy. I feel like if it, if, if it was a little brighter or if it had like less gray, then I would like it a little bit more. I don't know. It's The color scheme does match the uh, Gustav Carl pretty well. So maybe they'll look, it'll look nice with the Gustav Carl. All right, last but not least, I do not have the uh, GM they just released yet, but I do have the gun cannon from Kukuro's, Kukuro's Duwon's Island. It's so freaking funny that this is mainline, right? This is mainline. But so many other mobile suits from this movie are not, including Kukuro's Duwon's Zaku. That is insane. I do have Duwon's Zaku. Don't worry. I do have Duwon's Zaku. And I do have Slager's GM. I grieved over Slager's GM. I missed out on the original P Bandai pre order. But thankfully, I got that and I built that like right away. I love Slager's GM. And as you can see, I do have Kukuro's Duwon's Zaku as well. Oh, that's a burp. <laughs> After talking for like 18 minutes straight, I'm going to burp. But yeah, I'm very excited to build that. Very excited. I do have a couple other uh, Kukuras, Kukuras Dewon, uh kits in my P Bandai stack that we are about to cover right now. I'm just trying to push this in without you seeing my feet because I'm not wearing socks right now. And I'm sure uh, some of you would either say you or uh, put my feet on some website. Anyways, P Bandai. P Bandai time. I order a lot from P Bandai. This is what I try to still order now. I still try to order P Bandai stuff uh, because, you know, I don't want to miss out on it. Uh, current outstanding P Bandai pre-orders uh, that will likely be added to the stack and make it worse. Uh, I have the, uh, like, Awakened Gundam Unicorn high grade with, like, all of the... Uh, like crystals, the luminous crystal body. That's what it's called. I have that one on pre-order. And I do have another master grade, the Zaku Cannon Unicorn Color. I have that one on pre-order. Also from P Bandai, I have two other Zakus from Kukura's Duwon's Island. And I have the Psycho Gym. It's like the Psycho Gundam, but it's red with a gym head on it. I have that one on pre-order. And I feel like I have another P Yeah, I have another P Bandai pre-order with um a unicorn color Zaku 2 Fritz helm. And a, uh, uh, like, what's it called? Um, the base in Australia in Stardust Memory. Uh, something base. The, the, the Gym 2 in the colors of the Australian base. I always forget. Torrington base. Torrington base. of the Torrington base uh, GM coming. I feel like I did another one in that order. I don't remember, but I feel like I did another one. Anyways... 
Zaku 2 real type colors. I don't have a lot of the real type color stuff. I do have the real type color, uh, like, uh, goof flight type, but the colors are so similar to the normal goof. I just use it as normal goof. But we do have the real type color of the Zaku 2. And this is the newer HG Zaku mold. So I'm really excited to get this. That's, that's a really cool one. All right. What else we got? We've got Egba. We got our boy Egba. This one I'm kind of stressed out about because I don't like doing water slides, especially over corners. And this kit has a lot of water slides. So I'm not sure when I'll get around to having the courage to do that. But it is a uh, Origin Zaku mold. So I'm going to love it. It's just a matter of getting the time to build and getting the courage to doing all the water slides. If you guys have any tips on how to do water slides, especially over corners, please let me know. One of the only times I've done water slides, it was for the uh, MG uh, High New Gundam. Absolutely miserable time. And I didn't know that you're supposed to seal them off. So now they're just peeling. Hooray. I'm just going to paint those at some point. I'll peel those off and paint them. Because like from afar, they look fine. But if I zoom in on that Master Grade High New Gundam, they look horrible. Uh, but yeah, Agba. What else we got? We have the GM Moroccan Front Type. Uh, love this one because it's like the normal GM, but he's orange. Uh, I'm going to open this one up just so you can see that he's orange because I like orange. Orange is my second favorite color. Look, he's orange. Awesome. He's orange. Jeez, how am I going to find the time to build all these? Because I don't, I don't bust out uh, like high grades in an hour like some people do. Like 30 minute missions are not 30 minute missions to me. They're like two hour missions because I'm pretty slow building Gunpla. I'm just, I'm just slow, man. I take my time. I, I make sure they're clean. I, you know, make sure the nubs aren't super visible. Demi Garrison. Uh, I didn't really like the Demi Trainer from Witch for Mercury. Uh, I just wasn't vibing with the design. Uh, even Choo Choo's Demi Trainer. I just wasn't feeling it. But the Demi Garrison. Like, if I only have one version, I think the Demi Garrison is the one I want. One funny thing, when it comes to Gundam... Like, every once in a while, I want to, like, complete the characters, right? Like, I have all of the the Gundams from Gundam Wing. I have all of the, you know, Gundams from Celestial Being, at least from the first season. Because I wasn't really vibing with the ones from, from season two. Uh, but, you know, other times, it's like, yeah, I'll just go without having a significant mobile suit. Because I just don't like it. You know, it's kind of funny. Like, I don't have the O. I don't have the O in my Zeta collection because I don't like the O, you know, so I don't I don't feel compelled to complete characters in mobile suits just because I need them. This one is hype. This one is going to complete my Char's Counterattack collection so well because Char's Counterattack, it's one of my favorite like high grade lines. You know, I've got the new Gundam, Sazabi. I have the, uh, you know, uh, board. Uh, Oh, what's that name? Bor Bor <laughs> the Bor I feel like I want to say Bortelchica. The Bor Bortelchica. <laughs> Bortelchica. The, the, the one with the high new Gundam and the and the Nightingale. That. Bor whatever it's called. Maybe this next one will say it. I don't remember. Probably not. Um, but, you know, I've got a lot of uh, Shards Counterattack stuff. And... They never made the Hobby Isaac from Shards Counterattack until they did the Advance of Zeta Reboot version. Uh, the Advance of Zeta Reboot version does have a slightly different design. It is a little bit more, you know, badass looking, and I'm not going to complain. So that's hype. Can't wait to build that. I don't think it's a retool of the original Isaac mold. I think it's all new. So that's one I'm definitely excited to build. Because this is one of the only mobile suits from the entire franchise. This is a... A civilian suit. This is not made for war. This is a repurposed Hizak that is used for like hobbies, like hobbyists of mobile suits that want to like pilot them around and have enough money to own one. Like that'll, they just want to fly them around in space for fun. Like this is a hobby Hizak that has been approved by the Earth Federation to be used by civilians. And I just think it's so fun. I think it's so fun. This thing, this is also from that, I used to say it really good. Borch Bortelchica, <laughs> the Amro's Amro's Bay from Char's Counterattack. There's a novel where she's like pregnant instead, and it like changes the story somehow. 
Uh, this is from that, the Psycho Doga. And the Psycho Doga looks so sick. I was so worried I wouldn't be able to get this one because it's a side F uh, exclusive. But thankfully, P Bandai made it available, and that made me very happy uh, because I love the Giradoga. And this is a variant of the Giradoga. And I absolutely think it's awesome. I love the helmet. I think the helmet looks sick. It's just so cool. It's another Doga variant. I love the Dogas. Absolutely love them. We have a few more, few more P Bandai's. We have the GM Spartan. This one's cool. Uh, I mean, just look at the name, Jim Spartan. This is pretty much as militaristic as the Earth Federation comes when it comes to mobile suits. I don't think there is a single GM or Gundam that looks more militaristic than the Jim Spartan. Uh, I, I think it's super badass. <laughs> it's dark green. It's got tons of weaponry. It looks super armored and cool. That is hype. Love the Jim Spartan. And it's very, I think in, in lore, it's a precursor to the Jim Sniper 2. So I think it's really cool. Love that one. Anyways, one last P Bandai. And it is not a Gundam. It actually is a 30 minute missions kit. And it is the Portanova Special Squad. Uh, look at that head. That's a Zaku head right there. He just got, he got a Zaku head. And I think that looks awesome. And he's perps. He's perps with a Zaku head. I was just talking about how I love Zakus and how I think there should be more purple robots. And here you go. I don't have a lot of P-Bandai 30-minute uh, missions. I actually think this is my first and only P-Bandai 30-minute missions. And I think it's pretty cool. 30-minute uh, missions doesn't all appeal to me. There's a few that I just don't like whatsoever, like the uh, the Spinachia, the one that looks like a teenage girl. Mm -mm, not a fan. No, thank you. Uh, <laughs> and then there's like 30 minute sisters now, which is basically that whole like anime mecha girl thing. I don't do that. I do the robots. I don't do the anime girls. So no thank you to that. But Portanova special squad looks sweet. We have one more stack and it is my non Gundam stack. So there's going to be some kits from flame toys. There's going to be some kits from, uh, Bandai from 30 minute missions Let's get into it. So these kits up here were actually ones that were sent in to me by Bobby in the P.O. Box quite some time ago. I did build the big Zam that he sent me, but I've not had the time to build the uh, Zolidia. This one's from Victory, too. So whenever I get around to building this, and it'll probably need a lot of paint. When I build this, I can put it with my Victory 2 Gundam. So that's pretty cool. I'm not the biggest fan of these older kits with, like, the really small boxes. They're kind of jank. <laughs> but, hey... I have some to build. This is like a vintage reissue kit. I'm not even sure what this is really from. El Gaim, I guess. Heavy metal Augie. I have no idea, but it looks cool. I'm sure it's like entirely one color. Uh, and I'll have to like paint it all. Yeah, it's like all yellow. <laughs> yep, it is all yellow. So that is as vintage as it comes. That's one I'll build one of these days. This is definitely one I'm not stressing to build anytime soon. But hey, I, I have it. I'm very grateful that Bobby sent it my way. So I'll build that one at some point. Don't you hate with model kit boxes when one corner doesn't want to go in? And then this one, the uh, Round Vernian Wug. No idea what that's from. Almost looks like a... Jeez, uh, uh, I don't remember what they're called. Looks, I, have, I, I just have no idea what this one. This one's also a monochrome. Like, it's just one color. He's got, like, wings. Looks very funny. Astro Gator. No idea. But it is a, an old Bandai kit, so that's interesting. All right, some 30-minute missions. Spinachio Night Type. The Spinachio is my personal favorite 30-minute uh, missions kit, and it looks really cool as a knight. <laughs> so, yeah, that one's hype. That one's very hype. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't built this one yet because this one's really sweet. <laughs> so I'll build that one when I get around to building this one. Uh, it's it's very cool. Can't wait to get that. All right. the oh, You'll have to forgive me. The Forestieri O2. I just like the design of O2 more than O1, so I only got O2. Uh, I just like the look. Just looks kind of cool and mechanical. And I like the head with like that big mono eye and... It just looks cool, dude. I, I like the look. I think it'll look cool with some heavier weaponry, but I, I like that one. Still have Boba Fett. 
I got this one on clearance at Meyer, and this one actually hit clearance at Ollie's pretty significantly. I saw a lot of these at Ollie's over the holidays for like 10 or 15 bucks. I got mine for about that same price too, so I wasn't salty about it. Yeah, I will build this one at some point. I'll paint it up, weather it up. This will be my 112th scale Boba Fett because I got rid of my Black Series one. So if I want a 6-inch Boba Fett again, I've got to build this one. <laughs> so yeah, I'll get around to that when I get around to that. Still pretty fun, though. I'm really hoping... I don't know if they did a reprint General Grievous, and I just missed out, but I still want to get the General Grievous. I'm still holding out on getting the Bandai model kit of General Grievous. So, we'll see. We'll see. I like these Bandai Star Wars kits. I've built uh, the clone. I think it's it. I have the Stormtrooper, but I didn't build that one. I got that in the P.O. box from... Uh, what was it? Black Kiwi, I think? Yeah, yeah Black Kiwi sent me that one. Uh, but, yeah. Boba Fett. Where? Speaking of Ollie's clearance, I got the Flame Toys G.I. Joe Snake Eyes on clearance at Ollie's for like 10 bucks. So that was pretty hype. Does it still have the sticker on it? No, it had a, I think, plastic wrap, and I wrapped it off to look at the runners. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a little, it's not like 112th scale. It's a little smaller. And it seems like it has like a base, like underbody that you like put armor over. So that's very interesting. Yeah, I love Flame Toys Transformers model kits, and uh, yeah, I really want to check out their G.I. Joe ones. Snake Eyes is the man, so for 10 bucks, hey, I'll build the Flame Toys Snake Eyes. And last and not least, speaking of Flame Toys, we have to end it off with my bread and butter. My bread and butter, Transformers. And here is the Flame Toys Sound Wave. I got this from Big Bad Toy Store, and not my last pile of loot, the one before that, and I still have not had the time to build it, but I love the look of this Flame Toy sound wave. It just looks so cool, so big and blocky and chonky and big old chonky limbs, and I can't wait to get into this one. Oh, it's so cool. Uh, so with that being said, there was my look at my 42 kit large Gunpla backlog. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. I love Gunpla. It is a passion of mine. It is like when people ask like, oh, what do you do for hobbies? One of the first things I say before I will admit that I'm a toy collector, I'll say, oh, I build model kits. But look at this. The screen is full. The screen is absolutely full right now. I ain't got no space. I am out. You know space? Yeah, I'm out. All of these live in my closet, and uh, thankfully I do have the space in my closet for these, but it took a lot of time to make the space in my closet for these, but I'm happy I did this, so now I have like a record on video of all of the Gunpla that I have that need built, so I don't have to go into my closet. I can just like either look at this picture or watch this video, and I'm like, oh yeah, I've got the Delta Plus in my closet. I'm going to build that one. Ah, oh, it's so much. I love Gunpla. I do, but I just don't have enough time. Like, I didn't want the stack to get bigger than it did 15 months ago, but it got huge. It got so much bigger. I actually do have 43 kits that I have not built yet because I'm actively working on building my Gundam Maxter. That is one that I got from P. Bandai, and I'm, wor I, I'm like, I'm going to work on this like as soon as I get it, but I haven't had the time. So Gundam Maxter is work in progress, so he's not a part of the backlog. He's like a part of the next up. But I do have HG Gundam Maxter to build. <laughs> so hopefully, t I'm filming this on Monday. This week's model kit is Gundam Maxter. Next week's model kit is going to be one of these. <laughs> Don't know which yet, but it's going to be one of these. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold myself to this. Every week, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a tally. I'm going to build a model kit every week. Now for one of the big ones... I might give myself two weeks on those. Like, I might give myself two weeks. Or, God forbid, if I ever, if I get the perfect grade unleashed Gundam this year, <laughs> which I'm hoping I do, I'm hoping I get around to getting that one, uh, I'll give myself like three weeks on that one. <laughs> I'll give like one week for the inner frame, and then like one week for the armor, and then one week for the armor on top of the armor. You know, I'll, I'll do it like that. So there we go, guys. Here is my massive Gunpla backlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look with me at my backlog. I know this video won't get a ton of views. My last one didn't. But hey, I like 
throwing some video content out for my Gundam fans. And uh, this is a good way to like actually kill two birds with one stone because now I can sort through my Gunpla backlog and hopefully put it back in my closet a little neater because it got kind of not neat in my closet. <laughs> and also wasn't in any order. So now I have it all sorted. Like, oh, there's all my witch kits. There's my, you know, Sea Destinies. There's my Battle Logs. There's my High Grade Universal Centuries. There's my P Bandai's. You know, it's all sorted. It's all sorted now, and I like that. Alrighty, guys, I've been talking for half an hour straight. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Special shout out to channel members as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a great one, guys, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.